Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. Today, for my next Octoberween month review, I'm going to talk about a film that we should consider lucky exists. A few years ago, I became intrigued in this uniquely dark film, Freaks. There's a lot to talk about this movie, and it has been through a lot of discussion ever since its release. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. Google gobble, Google gobble. Let's talk about Freaks. Freaks set out an endless bout of controversy when it was first released to cinemas in 1932. Hans, a dwarf, falls in love with a beautiful, normal woman. The physically deformed circus performers stand by their friend's side when an evil plan is brought to their attention. Freaks' dark atmosphere has made quite the impression on the world. <laughs> wow, that was a good effect. <laughs> um, especially across all generations. While Freaks was meant to distribute a much different message, it does not stop viewers from getting invested in the contents of the film's nature. Freaks asks a question about who the real monsters are. Understandably, we can guess who the real monsters are based on the normal people's discriminating actions. The physical deformities of the circus people are real. It's startling and off-putting to see people with no arms or no legs and even a man with no legs or arms. After watching them live their lives as if they're not different was an eye-opening experience. Many actors ended up backing out once they found out who they were going to co-star with. Wallace Ford, Lila Himes, Olga Baklanova, Roscoe Eights, Henry Victor, and Rose Dion all delivered great performances, whether they were for the Carnies or against them. I especially enjoyed Eights' hilarious stutter. Ford and Himes' romantic subplot felt like it took away from the story. Then again, Freaks is not just about one story, which is what I like about this film. One of my favorite performances of all was Olga Baklanova as the vulgar, beautiful trapeze performer Cleopatra who seduces Hans. Baklanova was not afraid to show the ugly side of women, especially when laughing drunkenly like a horse, viciously lying, and carrying out a plan that is so evil. Hans and Frida were played by Harry and Daisy Earls. Siblings playing a couple. As their relationship was understandably subdued, it did not stop them from presenting a dramatic showing of their argument about the true meaning of love. At times, Harry Earls' character got on my nerves. I felt that he was too selfish, especially when breaking Frida's heart, to be with Cleopatra. Then again, it was the whole message of the film. Despite the hardships, Frida stood her ground and confronted Cleopatra in one of my favorite scenes of the film. Some other notables who played the Carnies were conjoined twins Violet and Daisy Hilton, Pinhead Schlitzie, Johnny Eck, who had no body below the waist, Prince Randian, who had no legs or arms, Peter Robinson, who was a human skeleton, and many other notable people who appeared on screen. Todd Browning tried to give every actor a chance to shine, even giving them time to show off their talents. One of the most famous scenes of all is the wedding celebration as Carnies chant their acceptance. That scene alone is the signature scene of the film. We should be considered lucky that this film exists. Freaks has gone through extreme controversy and backlash ever since its release, even getting banned in some parts of the world. With a runtime of only 60 minutes, the cut footage is deemed lost. Todd Browning made this film as a reflection that nobody should ever be unhappy with the way they look. Freaks is a mark on history of how society has been overlooked. I know that I had a different perspective after watching this film. Nobody can help the way they're born or how they look. What matters is the way we look at life. Thanks for catching my review of Freaks. Please add this film to your watch list. You cannot miss out on it. It deserves more recognition. What movies have you been watching so far during the spooky season? 
For my next Shocktoberween month review, look forward to The Ring. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.